Midjourney is by far the best image generation service, but it costs money. What if there was a better and most importantly free alternative? So let's take a look at a few of my favorite ones because the results of what I found will surprise you. The first service that surprised me in a good way is Leonardo AI, and I don't even know where to start. There's just so much stuff. To generate an image, I need to go to AI image generation and in the input field, type my prompt. Below the input field is the option to choose a model to use, pick a style, or add a negative prompt. The panel on the left gives even more controls, like changing the image dimensions, how accurate I want the results to be, and so on. There's also an option to upload an image to make modifications too, and my first prompt will be yellow spaceship. Pretty simple request if you ask me. Let's hit generate and generating takes a while, around 45 seconds in my case. And take a look at that. Four very different but definitely yellow spaceships. <laughs> I don't even know which one I like the most, they all look great. I think the second on the left is the closest to a spaceship, but the third on the left is the cutest. Okay, let's try another prompt. Gundam in the style of this author. I will also add additional instructions such as dramatic lighting, anime, and pastel colors. And 47 seconds later, here is the result. Just look at these Gundams. I'm not sure it's exactly this style, but each one looks amazing. Let's click on one and take a closer look. Well, the colors, the pose. Perfect. If I want to upscale the image, I can do that with one click. And if I zoom in, you can clearly see the defects of the AI's work. Just look at the fingers. Only AI could make something like that. Okay, the third prompt will be slightly more challenging. French mime sitting like a dog barking at Saturn. This is a tricky prompt and you'll see that later many times. And whoa, these images look good and weird at the same time. The second one is the closest to what I expected to get and the first one is by far the weirdest one. The third and fourth ones are cool, zero complaints. If we open an image and zoom in, you'll see how good of a job this AI did with hair and fur. It looks so real. What I like about Leonardo is that it can help you with your prompts. Just switch from image generation to prompt generation and type in a prompt idea. I will type in Italian chef making a pineapple pizza and after a few seconds of thinking the AI will improve my prompt. If you like any one of the suggested prompts you can edit it and generate an image with one click. In my case I'm out of tokens so no new images for me. This is the biggest issue of Leonardo. It's token based which is not good for an average user and it's not easy to get into. It's in beta so you have to submit an early access request. Mine got accepted in half an hour, so don't worry. So I'd say it's one of the best alternatives for sure. The next AI works a bit differently, more like Dolly. It's called Playground AI and it's free too. As you see, the interface is super clean, just a box for the image and an input field. And of course, an annoying tutorial pop-up. I will start with my favorite yellow spaceship. Bam, 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 and here it is. Not exactly what I expected, but I like it nonetheless. It has this aesthetic of 1970s popular mechanics magazines. Imaginary and drawn. If I move the box to the left, I can either create a separate image or outpatient it as a part of the old one. I want to add a small green spaceship in Gundam style. Well, this one it can do apparently, but okay, no worries. I can always do a new one from scratch. Let's open a new canvas file and try something different. French mime barking at Saturn. Dramatic lighting, golden hour. I think now you see what is so confusing about this prompt. It's very hard for AI to decide what to draw. A person or a bark dog or the planet Saturn. Not every AI can figure out, so let's change the style to realistic and try again. Well, this looks like a photo, not bad. Now let's change the style to none and in the right menu make the image closer to my input by adjusting the prompt guidance parameter. And set the number of images to two, of course, the new prompt will be the same Gundam but in this anime style. Oops, sorry, misspelled Gundam, so AI drew Miyazaki and a cat next to one white Totoro. Let's give it a go once again and okay, not bad. I'm not sure it's the Miyazaki style, but I like the way these images look so clean. For the next prompt, I will ask for a purple dandelion riding the motorcycle. Style deliberate. Meh, not what I want. Luckily, I can change the model. This one looks better, but not what I wanted. I'd say the playground AI does a good job and delivers consistent results and most importantly, 
it's free. Now let's take a quick break and talk about the sponsor of this video, Private Internet Access VPN. Hey, have you ever thought about using a VPN to keep your online activity safe? I've been using PIA, Private Internet Access, and it's been a real game changer for me. It works on all the usual platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, iOS, you name it. And the cool part, one subscription lets you cover as many devices as you need all at the same time. I like PIA because they are upfront and honest. With over 30 million downloads, they've got a reputation to maintain. They work well with streaming services. So if you want to catch a show that's only available halfway across the globe, you can do that too. That's one of the main reasons I use VPN in the first place, to watch my favorite shows. And if you are into P2P file sharing, PIA has you covered. And if you are worried about whether you're gonna like it or not, PIA offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, and there is always someone to chat with if you have questions. Honestly, it's been a solid choice for me. You might want to give it a look. By using my link, piavpn.com slash AI Master, you can grab an amazing 83% discount on private internet access, which means it's just $2.03 a month. Plus, as a bonus, you will get four extra months completely free. That's a steal for such a reliable and feature-packed VPN. And now let's get back to the video. Do you know Adobe? Yes, the company behind Photoshop. If you didn't know, they have AI image generation too. It's called Adobe Firefly, and it's now in beta. It has no credits or limits on image generation, so you can play with it however much you like. And my first prompt will be classic yellow spaceship. And look, the first results are already great and finally a spaceship in space here on the right i have all the controls choosing styles effects colors lighting composition anything i want the amount of options is simply put supreme picking these things is much easier than typing them manually in mid journey so i'll spice things up a bit and ask to do the same spaceship in cowboy bebop style with dramatic lighting and wide angle photo style and look it did all of that maybe it's not the same drawing style as Cowboy Bebop, but the approach to the design of spaceships is the same. How about that purple dandelion driving a motorcycle? Let it be art style. Origami, yarn, pastel colors, and golden hour. Kind of conflicting instructions, but it works. And finally, a dandelion on the motorcycle. And this art style, it looks amazing, super creative. Okay, how about a French mime again? I will set the style to layered paper and divine. And boom, we got... Dogs? Ah, uh, dogs. Sure. Yeah, Adobe also can't crack the code. But no worries, the request was weird enough already. Just take a second to admire the style and visual look of these images. So surreal, yet beautiful. Like a dream almost. Okay, how about a Gundam in Miyazaki style? During the golden hour, steampunk style. Woo, so good. Not Miyazaki though, but super cool. I'd say this is by far the best image generation service that can properly handle different styles. If all those options are too good for you, how about some Something less predictable and more interesting because of that. Dream Studio is exactly that. The first image that it generated were four images of a jungle waterfall. Waste of credits if you ask me. You all know what I'm after. A Gundam in Miyazaki style. Well, this is definitely not Miyazaki, but does look pretty cool and epic. It would make a great character card in, in a game or something. Can it do a yellow spaceship? In a photographic style, of course. And whoa, this looks amazing. Like a miniature of swords the background bokeh looks so convincing. And the spaceship looks more like a submarine, but kind of cute. I like it. Let's do a French mime barking at Saturn in low poly. This doesn't look like a person at all, but at least it's properly low poly and without a style. It just looks like an old illustration in a book from the 1950s. Dream Studio is not perfect, but it's super fun to play with and some of its filters are uncommon, which can make up for jankiness of some results. There's only one problem. It's token based, so you better know exactly what you need or prepare many emails to register new as you see, Midjourney is not the only option out there. Sometimes you can really find a better and free version that's easier to use. At least that's how it went this time. And I will continue looking for new cool AI tools, so be sure to check out our other videos on this channel. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.